Hello Instagram! Welcome to Friday Night Live with Bariku! Today is Friday night, it's 10 p.m. Every week we go live for an hour just discussing everything that there is to life. Questions about careers, about entrepreneurship, about life, about anything at all. And we've had a lot of fun in the last few weeks. For those who were there last week, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We ran into misdialed numbers. We had some fantastic conversations and we're back to do the same. The way this works is I bring on callers who come live with me. We have a chat. They ask me a question and that's the way it works. 10 to 11 every Friday night. I hope all of you had a good week and this is a great way to unwind. All right. Hey, and of course I see, I see Atharv here and Atharv had a really good time last live. Um, it's there on my story. Uh, Atharv is this really young, talented guy who just pinged, was commenting, got connected with someone else called Nippon and the next thing you know, doors opened up and that's the magic of connections. That's why I love the power of connections and it's just wonderful. All right, let's get the first caller on board. Did I say 11? It's 10 a.m. Fuck, it's 10 p.m. All right. And for the first caller, I see a lot of names from before, but let's get, okay, Manish Nair. Manish Nair, you have requested and you're going to go live with me in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You're going live, Manish. Okay, let's see. Hi, Sasha. It was great connecting with you last time. Hi, Manish. Uh, hello, 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 Ankur. How are you? Very well. How are you? I am also doing great. I just can't, you know, believe. Is this real? It is. You'll it not is. believe. This is the very first time I'm trying something on Instagram. And... Uh, you're the very first person I'm being on love. I am so happy to hear that. It's it. it I, uh, I hope this gives you the confidence to try out more things that you have been hesitating to try. Yes, I'll definitely do that. Oh, so where are you really, from? Really happy. I'm from Delhi and uh, you're also from Paridabad. So we are yes, kind yeah, of in the same place, right? We're kind, we're kind of in the same place. I was in Delhi this evening. And, oh, uh, great. Yeah, it was, it, it was, yeah, it was crazy. What, 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 and what do you do, Manish, in Delhi? Uh, I work as an operations manager uh, with an ed tech firm uh, here in Delhi itself. Okay. Did uh, you say ed tech? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Which is correct. the big thing now. Everyone's yeah. in ed tech. Everyone wants to be in ed tech. Yeah, so there is too much uh, going around ed tech and too many products in ed tech, right? Wow, awesome. And, and is working from home working out well for you? Yeah, it's, it's totally fine. Uh, we have shifted our business mostly to the online space. Uh, so it's going fine. Wonderful. Very nice. Do you have a question for me, Mani? No. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, last week I was, you know, constantly thinking about way too many questions, but I was just thinking if I had only one chance to ask you one question, uh, all I could ask is this one question. Uh, so I'll just put it in, put it in perspective. I don't know if I'm putting it out properly. Uh, at times, there are uh, situations where uh, when I find it difficult to create, you know, uh, form an opinion. Mm -hmm. So there are way too many things uh, happening around us, be it politics or be it about technology. There are always people who talk about the technology and talk against the technology. So in such, uh, you know, conditions, when I listen to all these people, they have all the good things, like I told, and the bad things. So at times it becomes really difficult to judge on uh, what kind of perspective should I keep towards this particular topic or what kind of opinion should I, uh, you know, take up to this particular thing. So that's what my question is. How do we, uh, you know, generally come up with an opinion uh, that that's unique to my own and, self? And, and I have a follow on question for that before I answer. Why is the forming of an opinion important? Uh, just in cases like social places, whenever there is a discussion happening and, uh, 
you know you also have some point of view to keep in front of people but at times it you need to think if my opinion is uh, out there in the right place or is this opinion if this opinion will be accepted by most of the people or how do we go about it like what's the okay. you know thing behind no, it no i love it i love the i love the honesty of the question it's a very valid question uh, and i have a very different i have a very very different take on this but get, here's how i think about this most people when they're giving their opinion are giving their opinion only to create an identity for themselves in your eyes i'll say this again sport most people when they're giving an opinion they really don't care about what you think of the opinion what they care about is what they think what you think about them and the opinion is a way to get there that's the same trap you're falling into as well when you force yourself to think that i need to have an opinion because until i don't have an opinion people will not have an opinion about me and and that's the trap i personally operate the following way if i am in a group of people where a topic is being discussed that i have no idea about i find the best merit in staying quiet and not having any opinion at all because if i don't speak i listen and when you listen you may get to hear something new when you speak you don't get to hear anything new because you're just speaking about something that you already know only when you listen do you get to hear something new so i will always listen and if people would even ask me hey do you have an opinion on that i will be upfront and say i don't have any opinion i'm just listening to all of you i really don't have a point of view on this it's new it's fresh it's something that i'm not sure of and you may think they'll think of you as dumb you may think that they'll think of you as not smart you may think that they think of you as as not capable but guess what it doesn't matter because being on the surface is the worst thing you want to do you don't want to be joey from friends who thinks that he can go through encyclopedias and then be ready for a conversation you want to be someone who knows what they're saying or doesn't know and is willing to learn that'll be my way of thinking about this in a work situation where you may be asked for an opinion and you just can't get out of it personally i have always found merit in saying i don't have a firm opinion right now but i can definitely come back to you in x days weeks hours and then i would devote myself to get to the depth of whatever is it that i have to form an opinion on instead of just blurting and vomiting out whatever you feel is the right thing to do because you feel trapped that someone's asking for a question or someone's asking for your opinion so long story short i'll ask you to step back don't fall in the trap of giving an opinion so that people have a high opinion of you instead form your opinion to a very well informed way or process or path and don't hesitate to say i don't know oh all right all right i just love the fact that you are so clear in your mind and it has directly gone inside so i'll definitely think about it thank you thank you very much that's such a terrific response thank you so much all the best man have a good night thank Take you thank bye bye great that was a very good question and well i could give out an answer as as much as i can all right uh simran mathur simran mathur if you are ready to go live with me then you will do so in 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 now hi nepon thank you so much for helping out at her that was really nice of you hey hi simran hi how are you very well how are you i'm good i'm good i'm just good yeah wonderful are you are you are you always this soft or is it yeah. something that you are okay. i think <laughs> i love it i wasn't yeah. judging i was just asking no no it's fine. yeah but where where are you from simran uh i'm from faridabad so oh, yeah yeah really? मैं 
I'm in Dublin. Um, I live in Dublin. I'm from oh, Pennsylvania. Live... I live in Dublin. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what a humble brag. What no, no, no. I am from Faridabad. I just happened to be in Dublin right now. No, 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 no. I I don't know how it happened. Like I literally got up in Faridabad, and the next thing I know, I press no, request for IG live, and I was in Dublin. Like, no, nah. no. Okay, no, sorry. I'm just pulling your leg. Yeah. So you, <laughs> I can't get over this. All right. So so you work for the Bank of Ireland. Yeah. And I am super curious to know. how is the situation there in dublin in general like people completely not masking they don't care what the thing is or is there no. a protocol no there it's like uh, the so our graph is what do you say plateau um, plateau yeah it's plateau so there are not a lot of cases here so it's okay. pretty okay. so it's like 20 cases in a a day so it's fine oh, oh well, well that's yeah. that's very manageable okay not as And bad as in india Yeah, yeah, definitely not. Absolutely not. And then, how how long have you been there in Dublin? Um, I'm here uh, for two years now. I'll come okay. here two years in September. Yeah. Wonderful. Very nice. Yeah. I've heard lovely things about Dublin. I've never. Yeah, it's very there. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, and and it's it's very vibrant because yeah. a lot of e-commerce companies are are there in in Dublin, and it's supposed to yeah. be a very cosmo place where a lot of yeah. young blood is there, and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Are you enjoying yourself, or do you miss home? a little bit like i'm looking forward to come home some day some hopefully well, in yeah. december sometime whenever this whole thing gets nothing gets like faridabad i tell yeah, you yeah i know i know i know nothing beats faridabad i know yeah <laughs> okay and 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 were you working before you joined bank of ireland no no it's my first job So this was your first job, and yeah. did you work at all in in India, or you straight away went? To no, straight away went for my masters, and then joined. Yeah. Okay. So, and did you do your masters from Dublin? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that makes sense. Great. Yeah. So yeah. so so for people who were wondering, boss, take a step back. How does one go from Faridabad to Dublin in the first job itself? Simran was smart. She <laughs> went to Ireland for a masters, and that's yeah. how she got this job. That's yeah. how. Be like Simran. Okay. <laughs> Simran, yeah. do you have a question for me? Yeah. So, uh, my question is, um, like, I try and be very active on LinkedIn. Like, at least I try and I get connected with a lot of people. But, um, uh, I don't, I don't know. I think how to connect with the right people, if you know what I mean. Like, I get connected to a lot of incoming students who keep asking me questions, and I, I don't mind mind answering them, and it's all fine. But, I just don't connect to the right people, and the. the others are like hi how are you i don't want to tell you how are you how i am on linkedin so i just don't know how to connect with the right people and i've and, seen and, you are very active there so and and, and when you say connect with the right people simran describe who the right people are in your mind um like someone in my field essentially or someone who i want to be like in like mm-hmm. how i want my career to be like so got it All right, awesome, wonderful. That's a good question. And and I and I incidentally uh, did a video on on this Simran, and so you should go to my YouTube channel and search for a video mm-hmm. called How to Network. Mm-hmm. But I'll give you a gist okay. of it because I think it's very important. Yeah. And and you ask a question that's applicable to a lot of people. Yeah. Here's the best way to connect with people on on LinkedIn. The way to do that is you actually follow them actively on LinkedIn. follow their content what is it that they post about what is it that they share what is it that they write and then engage with that content in a meaningful manner if you just drop a message to anyone and say hey i want to be connected yeah the thing is why would they want to be connected they don't want to be connected yeah. they have enough connections they have enough inbounds just the way you get a lot of inbounds from students who want to become you they get a lot of inbounds from people like you who want to become them Yeah. So the question you have to ask yourself is which student in bounds do I respond to not because I feel I should but because I feel that they did something which stood out. And okay. it'll always be someone who connected to some story of yours that you didn't even know people knew about. It was something okay. about you, something that you said, something that you wrote, something that you've done in the past which people were able to connect with. that individual was able to form some sort of a connection that was just displaying a little bit of hard work they're just being lazy saying 
hey Simran, can you help me? Blah, 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 blah. And that's the same thing you have to do. It's the exact same thing that you have to do, which is write to them, but write to them in a manner that they feel and know you have worked hard to write that message. And that will mean you will have to pick up a message at a time. You'll have to do one, one, one at a time and not be like, select all, send request. Not like that. It literally has to be painfully done with the right research. But trust me, your hit rate will increase manifold. Yeah. And I love the fact that you at your young age are already thinking about things like these. Because if you begin to do it, and there should ideally not be any hurry, you're still way too young. But if you do this right and you do it over a six-month period or a 12-month period, you will begin to see the power of that network play out. It's brilliant. I am a witness to that. Mm -hmm. And and I'm sure you've seen that journey that, that mm -hmm. I have gone through and, and LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And I would say that it's, it's brilliant. So mm -hmm. please start today, but spend that effort that people deserve because of where they are and you will then get what you want. Yeah. Yeah. And I think um, LinkedIn is a very good uh sort of net like place to connect because um, we had an event in our college and we connected to you through LinkedIn and you actually came for it. So that's how I started following you. And so, yeah, it's awesome. a very good place. Yeah. Wonderful. No, I'm, yeah. I'm so glad and, and it absolutely works. It's a great social network. Yeah, exactly. I will heavily endorse it. So I'm, I'm glad you're thinking the right way. Just be thoughtful mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. Spend your time in writing every single message in the way that tells them Okay, Simran, put some effort in it. It's not really yeah. easy, but there is yeah. one. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Have a good All day. Right. Take care. Yeah, Bye, Simran. Too. Bye. I love the humble brag. I can't get over it. I loved it. I am from Faridabad. Just happened to be in Dublin. Mic drop. <laughs> Oh, that was funny. Oh, there's someone called Funny Guy who has a Mario Brothers. Hey, come here. All right, Funny Guy. I don't know how you look. I don't know your real name. I hope that you are real. You will join me in five, four, three, two, one. Now. Hey, beer biceps, my man. How are you? Well, yeah, funny guy, funny guy, funny guy. No, funny guy is. For those who, well, I'm canceling. Sorry, man. Ranveer is part of the live right now and it's Ranveer, do you want to quickly come on live, man? It'll be fun. Why don't you? Come on. Just like a little high and then you can leave. A lot of people want to hear you, man. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, let me see if you accept, Ranbi. Okay, great. He's saying yes. So let's do that. What's up? What's, good What's going? up, my man? How are you? What's happening? I just got done. I just got done with a pretty rapid work day, and I was just scrolling through Instagram, and I'm glad this is happening. I'm glad this is happening, man. How are things? If things are good, dude. I saw your uh, thread on Twitter about you turning. Uh, 39 am i right like you which, which, which was last year i i i, I do age <laughs> yes 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 that was the so um some a lot of that stuff stayed with me i actually got that sent uh, by like uh, my co-founders and a lot of people so really awesome. i really enjoy your, i enjoy your twitter a lot thank you so much man that's really kind of you i i love the stuff that you're doing you are you. You're, 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 you're incredible. I, I love your journey. I love how all of this has come together. And you're so, so passionate about everything that you do. It's, it's incredible. Very inspirational. 
Thank you, thank you, bro. It's a lot of right place, right time. Um, where I know the the automatic response is no, but you work to be in the right place at the right time. But uh, you know, dude, like it's like it's one of those things where unless someone has been in my feet, they are in my shoes, they they won't realize how much luck and right place, right time has happened in my life. So I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Right, yeah, and and it's it's funny that you say this because if you speak to most successful people, that's exactly what they say. They will, <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll they'll always attribute a large part of their success to luck, which is just their humility working at play. But uh, at the end of it, you know, it it takes a lot to be you, and and that's just incredible because it it sounds like a fairy tale story and just sounds like oh. I Let me try launching. I, I mean, unless you're going to save this live as an IGTV, then that's a separate conversation. If you don't intend on doing that, I can uh, launch a live on my feed, and uh, you can you can be on it. We'll do like a mini oh. podcast, a fifteen twenty minute thing. Wait, why why don't we schedule that? Because because I want to be prepared for it, and I want to do it in the right manner. If that's okay with you. Okay, okay. cool, cool, yeah. cool. Sounds okay. good. I'll, I'll, <laughs> we, we exchange notes, and we'll definitely do that. But it was lovely, man. I won't hold you because this was just. Uh, I'm uh, I'm free blue. for okay, like five great. to ten yeah, if yeah, if you are. Let, let's <laughs> let's do that. So 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 I ha- I have a question for you, and 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 so? maybe we'll repeat that in the podcast as well. Which is, no, do you ever feel that the fact that your identity now is attached to beer biceps and beer biceps is Ranveer, does it ever get to you that maybe that will not be who I am forever? Yeah. Um. In terms of, I have to be this guy right now for the sake of the brand. Is that what you're asking? Okay. Yeah. Uh. It is something I think of, but honestly, the longer you do YouTube, the only way to sustain it is if you keep showing your most authentic version of yourself. So that uh, the the version of things the way you described it was very true for the first year. Was slightly less true for the second year. Was slightly less for the third year, and I'm slowly reaching a point where it's like ninety percent of myself out there, and the ten percent is reserved, honestly, so that I don't get into trouble. Uh, but uh, so I think it's going to go to like ninety-five percent. I just won't be able to put out offensive stuff, like things that could offend someone, as in not offensive. Yeah. Sure. But um, it it was a huge battle early on, where I used to feel that everything I'm doing is very artificial, like. Yeah. Uh, but o- over time dude it's it's like uh, if you if you enjoy social media like the social media game um that kind of overpowers all these other thoughts because it's genuinely enjoyable but comes to you naturally yeah absolutely man absolutely and, and, and so on on that question what what is the thing that does not come naturally to you when it comes to social media something that you to social media? like like ha you like oh yeah ye bhi karna padta um I would honestly, I've built out things based on consistency, uh-huh. but with YouTube, I I would love to be in a position where I could take a month off and upload only a one great film or one great video every month. But that's the artistic side speaking. Sure. That's not how YouTube works, especially in infotainment. And in infotainment, you're supposed to go quantity, 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 quantity. <laughs> so um, I, I'm I'm honestly trying to just kind of figure that situation. We're thinking of launching more channels through the company. We're thinking of, you know, just just trying to uh, kind of accomplish that dream. But let's see, it's a long process, man. And it it no. it, it grows based on consistency and quantity. Honestly, is, much yeah. more than quality. Absolutely, and and if, if there's one thing that the audience can take away from this, this is it, man. It's you no. Know, the the fact is most successful people such as ranveer will make it seem like it's easy but the truth is there's one thing that matters and that's consistency and most people will give up it's the act of showing up every fucking day that matters like that is what it takes whether it's sunny whether it's raining whether it's stormy whether you're the best of mood or not you just show up every single day and that Yeah. is the only thing that just sets people apart awesome man 
very poor yeah bro uh, uh it's what, what time do you usually sleep uh, i sleep i sleep really late <laughs> like incredibly late like do you do you, do you want to disclose <laughs> dude honestly lately it's been like not earlier than 4 am you know like so Are it's between 4 Yeah, it's just my my head is super active at night, and I want to do something with that energy. So either I'll read something extremely heavy, or I'll write something. You know, like I'll I'll keep it activated, or I'll absorb. Do writing is the other huge challenge of social media. After a point, so it's like when you start out, even up to three, four years, you have this accumulated uh, bhandar of like knowledge which you can throw out, and then in the in in like like once you once you cross that certain threshold. you have to read stuff in order to refuel that reservoir of knowledge so um that's the other huge challenge which i thought would get solved by podcast because i'll be like okay i'll be learning through people like ankur or whoever you know like i'll be learning through you guys doesn't work like that there's a certain level of depth and information that you can only get through books so um i would i would love to read just for the sake of enjoyment but there is a certain sense of occupation in that act of reading it so is. that's what happens. that's probably what i would change but that's that's just the fantasy world i'm creating in my head yeah, I, i have you tried audio books is that something you uh, i did but yeah. um it's it's one of those situations like i have nothing against audio books it's just for hmm. the purpose i'm reading the book uh, for is kind of kind of to study um mm. so i feel like i'm i'm one of those visual learners i just i can't learn through audio i love audio i love podcasts yeah. but i i retain things through my eyes so uh yeah that's that's why i'm i'm currently like binging on yuval's books and uh, there's this there's this really crazy author called graham hancock have you heard of this guy no so um it's it's got nothing to do with business or perspective yeah. building or anything but uh-huh. he's basically like a real life indiana jones and uh, he's a journalist who's gotten into history so with so much like intensity that people consider him like the world's best historian now and his main um ideology is that he wants to prove that a lot of the history we study in textbooks is not actually true and there's a whole alternative history which a lot of it got wiped off because of the first ice age so there was already civilization there was already uh, like those kind of civilizations were extremely advanced but uh, all that got lost because of the ice age and the argument is wait why can't we find their plastic and their electronics yeah. so his answer is what if they didn't use plastic because they realize how harmful it could be to the environment and they used something that could be environmentally friendly that's fascinating so, i should yeah, i should yeah. pick that up that's quite cool yeah it goes it goes back to one of the theories that that i i think could be true is that we're not the first human race to yeah. live on earth yeah we, Yeah, very, it's very it's it's third or fourth. It, yeah. uh, it it kind of exactly what you said, and uh, the reason I'm reading his books is one for great social interaction. Like when you bring up these things in social situations, it's fantastic. But uh, two, uh, dude, it's like it's it's such a revolutionary um, thought process yeah. that when you read it straight from the hands of the author, and you go into his subconscious mind and his way of looking at the world. it kind of changes your perspective also slightly so it's a heavy book it's thick but it's it's uh, it really changes you i love it man were, were you always a reader no dude like uh, so i think i think podcast got me into reading honestly yeah. like uh, and also also like i think once you have that one life changing reading experience where you force yourself to get through the book and you realize oh wow now i'm a different person then you kind of latch on to books and uh with with youtube and work and everything you don't have that much time to read and if you're dating you don't have like any like there's no space for books so i'm i've been single now uh especially during the lockdown and it's just that i'm i'm taking i'm taking some specific time to just just absorb information because i don't know when the next lady is coming my way and when i'll have to stop reading again <laughs> you, you you see you, you see the hearts coming up from the right bottom corner of the <laughs> scene <laughs> awesome <laughs> which was the other curiosity was there a specific book or a theme that just changed you into a reader like pause what yeah um uh so there was two moments like that i started reading in engineering college because i was just disenchanted uh and i think i can't even remember the name of the book it was i think it was called keep off the grass 
it was okay. basically about these guys who were in i am bangalore it, i don't even think it's a famous book yeah. but uh, it's it's this is account of these two three guys in i am bangalore and how intense the world of i am is and how his perspectives open up because of the intensity of it it was a very simple read but it it made me understand that hold on i was at that stage of my life i thought that okay engineering and then ms or mba mm-hmm. so he in the book he mentions that you that this may not be um you know the best scenario for everyone and maybe you're meant to do art so that was the first time something shifted like inside my head and i thought okay i should start reading more but the big shift came like 2 3 years into beer by self when i was having a lot of mental health issues and i read the autobiography of a yogi by yogaran paramans and that one that one really like just slapped me in the face so that's awesome man. that's a good yeah, pick. that is a really good pick that's a life changing yeah. book yeah not not for everyone though but uh, it's it's for, for for who it is it's like it's revolutionary god brilliant man i love it and we always a pleasure <laughs> you're so inspirational like talking We have one, one one small request. Vaishnavi is part of my team. She's the biggest fan of you. Can you give her a shout out, please? Because she'll kill me if you don't. Vaishnavi, sure. just, just go ahead. Oh, Vaishnavi, what's her full name? What's her full name? Yadav. Yadav. Vaishnavi Yadav. Thank you so much for your support. As embarrassing as this is, but <laughs> thank you. This means a lot. Awesome, man. You're such a such a sport fan. Thank you so much. You have a you have a great day's work ahead now. You have your full six hours of work ahead of you. And, 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 and That's right. What what this night is going to bring out? But thanks, Ravi. Uh-huh. Thank you for inspiring. Great talking to you, man. Pleasure. I I want to pick your best. mind on a lot. Of, I want to pick your brain on a lot of things. Pakka. So we'll definitely do that. I'll ask you something very soon. Pakka. Okay. All right. See you on. Take care, man. All the best, man. Bye. Bye. Well, that happened. that just happened out of the blue for people who wondered this was not set up this was not staged this was not paid for and we 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 literally and, and this is this is the power of what i'm you talking about ranveer and i have never spoken before as of this moment i dropped him a message saying love your work just been a fan for a long time would love to catch up whenever you're free he responded saying great let's just do that next thing i know he comes up on my live i ask him if he wants to go live and that's it we went live that's the magic of life that's the fucking magic of life like you literally if you don't ask the answer is always no if you don't ask the answer is always no and it's such a fascinating thing that this keeps happening and happening and happening so i'm just so glad man i'm just so glad all right let's get the next caller on This has been super super fun. Oops, there are a lot of people <clears throat> who have now come <laughs> expectedly. All right, Shrey Gupta. Shrey Gupta, if you are there, let's go live with you in 5 4 3 2 1. Now. Ha. Ah. Just get your hi hi hi. Hi Shrey. Okay. How so are you? This was really unexpected. You just have to give me a second. No, great. Were you in the toilet? No, no, no. I was in my room. I was sitting with my parents. Okay. Why are you? Sit- oh, you were sitting with your parents. All right. Yeah, great. that's why I just ran out. Perfect. But I love the fact that you were sitting with your parents with your guitar. There's like, mummy, papa. <laughs> papa kaise hai bada i think this is better uh, according to you but sure yeah your your hair looks perfect you All are right. looking you're you're looking just decent yeah you you're looking charlie.com perfect <laughs> and we can get started where are you from okay so i'm from delhi and awesome. um, so Don't like without... that's okay what and what do you do so i'm a college student great yeah which course. which course which year i'm doing uh, my major in economics and i'm in uh, like my final year of college like i just uh, got into my final year okay awesome yeah. very cool and you're clearly a guitarist yeah i'm a guitarist and have you have you learned professionally or you just learned it on your own I've been on my own. I've learned it on my own, and like the lockdown has been like a blessing in disguise for me. 
for some reasons which i'll be telling you after i'm done playing something for you do you take requests or you play something on your own oh well um i don't know if i have heard the song you're going to name so i i really hope you know like if i really want to play something for you first and then take a request maybe i don't want to get you know like no that's perfectly fine totally why don't you play what you want to play okay and that will that will be what we will listen to okay so uh, there's a and song and i'm sorry i'll be i'm sorry I, I, i'm sorry if i'll sound like a rude guy but we'll give you a minute to play because then we have to move on to the next person is that okay fair enough fair enough awesome great let's get started i'm, I'm pretty, super excited this, this song called where's the party tonight i don't know if you okay. heard it Yeah, yeah, of course. I, yeah, we, we we've all heard it. All right, so I'm gonna play that for you then. Wow, I wasn't yeah. expecting that. That's great. <laughs> all right. I'll be honest. Yeah. This this was exactly like an episode of America's Got Talent where someone walks in on stage. Yeah. No one in the fucking crowd expects what's to come. People are like, yeah, aa gaya idhar udhar kuch karega, baja ke chale jayega. And then you fucking start and people are on their feet. I loved it. I just totally loved it, man. This is awesome. And you should read <laughs> You should read. I don't know if you'll get a chance, but you should read the comments. People are like, "Brilliant! This was not expected. This is like really hard to play." Salute, brilliant man. I love it. I totally love it. There are 500 people watching you live right now, and that is just to start for you, Shrey. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you so much for this. It really means a lot. <laughs> no, this is super awesome, man. Super awesome. This is incredible. I, I, I really hope that you go on to pursue this. and don't fall into the trap of the economic honors and everything that you're doing which is all fancy and nice but right. there is merit in what you're doing you have the talent this clearly needs to be built up and i really really hope that i see you 5 years from now pursuing this turning into not just a hobby but a career that pays for your life and your happiness thank you so much man that really means a lot also now get, uh, getting down to the request Uh, is there any song you want to try out no i am i'm blown away i'll i'll be like absolutely surdas i've seen enough now i don't want to see anything else this will be my memory of shrey and the next time you come up with an original just as good as this you yeah. have the first follower in me i'm signing you up i'm buying your album i i am a supporter i have an original would you mind if i dm it to you it's on my instagram i'll, I'll send it please do that Please do that. I'll 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 definitely listen to it and 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 let you know what I think of it for sure. You promise you're going to listen to it? Of course I do. Why would I why would I lie about such a thing? Sure. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, and thank you so much for adding me man. Thank you. No, thank you so much Ray. I I was I was I was not expecting this and I'm so glad that I added you. All the best. You rock. Thank you so much man. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care. that is incredible man i love it i love how much talent there is in the world i love how people follow their talent so passionately it is saddening how many of them give it up because
the world gets to them and they become a fucking adult or whatever that means but the truth is this is like genuinely good stuff and and i'm i'm not a professional singer or a musician so i can't really make out but to the absolutely untrained ear this sounded like brilliant it looked really hard and i just hope that he continues to do that all right that wonderful yeah <laughs> people like shrey is the best shrey is the best but shrey on point we shrey on point for sure shrey on point all right let's get the next caller on nipun nipun jain do you want to come because you've been fantastic helping people here and there so why don't we bring you nipun live in 5 4 3 2 what yeah he's amazing he works super hard it was just awesome i am so glad the shrey came on board as this hi nipun i've been expecting this but okay well you know what it is it is what, what where are you from nipun from a place called bilai but i stay in mumbai okay uh, bilai is good yeah great we uh, th- thank you for clarifying because we did had a uh, i'm from faridabad <laughs> stay in dublin moment so you you from bilai and yeah know what bilai is because it's very famous uh-huh. in the state no no of course most people know bilai <laughs> and and it is it's one of the biggest steel towns in the country so why wouldn't add a bilai oh jharkhand so so that's how i got to be <laughs> <laughs> and and what do you do in bombay uh so i run my own startup which i started right in the lockdown and i because i quit my job right in march so this is into helping students uh, just like how i help athar helping students connecting to relatable mentors and also we teach them skills like cold emailing networking because is just that i have been beaten by taking on to something that like we just settled in for something that is lesser to my potential so i don't want students to just settle in for something that's not doing justice to their potential and uh, simultaneously for part time i do love uh, working for content so right now i'm working part time with josh skills and creating the courses that you've already created for rajesh wonderful i am so glad to hear that that's one that that's quite a handful so you you have been <laughs> students get some direction through mentors which is brilliant i love that and then you're also helping contribute uh, to to content creation which is brilliant and and i love your skills for what they are uh, it is just incredible i have to do your course as a part of just to understand how to make such similar courses so i have to do okay if <laughs> they've said that as a benchmark but no there are some there's some really good courses in there and yeah. it's, and it's the, incredible and the kind of target audience they cater to is it's so important to reach there and yeah. Uh, exactly. Send inspiration that that's a exactly. very good content to create. So I was into exactly. TikTok to just understand what they consume and how they get inspired. And I'm sad it's gone now. Yeah. No, I I, I know exactly what you're talking about, and you're so right. You're absolutely right, Nepal. All right. Do you have a question for me, Nepal? I do. Oh my God, I have a lot of them. I was not prepared, but yes. Um. So my question to you is, and this is something that you know, when when even Athar came, this was in my head that a lot of generation right now, especially the ones on Twitter and the ones who follow Naval Ravi Kant a lot, and people like you and Konarsa a lot, um, are into that zone that you know our time matters to us and we won't work under somebody and all of these things, comparing their time with money. I texted you about that as well. So my question to you is, I'm at that stage when I need to hire people, and I'm not sure if I am in that state when I can keep somebody under me and not do justice with their time. So mm. when you say this, do you also um, not everybody can be an entrepreneur, not everybody can be a leader or can have their own company. So how yeah. do you come to terms with the fact that you know I want I don't want to treat my team like something that's somebody that's working under me or giving their time to me, and if I'm not even doing justice to them, so what is this idea of the entire generation if they get inspired by now well then? Not everybody can start their own companies. Who's going to work for them? No, so so, so that, that? It, it's a it's a great question, Nipun. And and let 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 me let me paraphrase the question to get this, which is, yeah. if you're living amongst people, all of whom seemingly want to become entrepreneurs, then how do you really get an entrepreneur to work under you or with you? Because they might as well just go on and do on their own. And here's the truth. The truth is, this is an echo chamber. where we believe that this is how people are but that's nearly not true you're a very wise girl and i've seen your thoughts come through so i know you know what i'm talking about 99% of the world 
wants to be led. 99% of the world wants direction. 99% of the world likes to be told what needs to be done and then they need the autonomy and the freedom to do it in the best manner possible that they think it is. And that's not such a bad thing. It's nearly not. There is just so much pop culture around starting up and entrepreneurship and you have to start on your own. Why would you want to work with someone else? Why would you want to work for someone else? Why would you want to work under someone? So on and so forth. But the truth is there is psychological, emotional merit in working and pursuing stability, having a sense of security. And entrepreneurship is really brutal. You know that. You started it, so you're getting the first feel of it. It is bloody brutal. So you don't want to get into that trap where you think everyone's like you. That's nearly not true. And the best thing you can do is recognize what the motivation and inspiration for people are and give them the best opportunities for them to get to that. That doesn't mean they have to start up. In fact, you'll be surprised how very few want to. But yeah. you think that that's actually the case. It is not that you bring people who are in a startup or working in a startup and suddenly you feel that everyone wants to start up. That's not true. Yeah. No, that's so true. I think social media puts us, puts us into such eco chambers and I've been really scared of it recently because sometimes you just read and you just consume the same thoughts that everybody around you is. And it's so important to just dig out time to read something that's completely out of it, like completely out of your eco chamber, which is no clue exactly. about. Exactly. So yeah. Exactly. And I hate Spend how, how uh, all of us, uh, especially the startup junkies, we look down upon somebody who's taken up a job, which is not a bad thing. Or somebody who's working in a corporate or in a cubicle. Exactly. I mean, if it's their lifestyle, I think. Uh, but but we do put that judgmental label on them, which is which is a sad exactly. thing. And I'm and I'm saying this because I'm guilty of it. So, ah. yeah. Absolutely. All right. This was lovely meeting you, Nipun. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for all the help that you're extending. All the best with everything. If there's anything that Thank I can help you with, please don't hesitate. Definitely. We're already yeah. connected on DM, so yes. I'll be I'll be looking forward to your journey. Definitely. Thank you so much, Ankur. Nice. All you. the best. Bye. Take care. Thank Good you night. You Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Awesome. That was like, all right. Okay, Kevin, you know what? I would love to bring you live. Why don't we do that? Bring you live right now. Hi, how are you? Well, oh, wow. That is some voice. Okay, great. <laughs> Kevin, for the benefit yeah. of everyone, I do not know you. You do not know me. We're just connected for the first time. Where, where are you from? I'm from Chennai. Okay, awesome, man. And what do you do in Chennai? So I used to work with Amazon as a quality analyst. So I was okay. a risk, risk management, uh, content risk management manager. Mm -hmm. But now I quit and I'm doing music full time. So that's what I've been doing. I love it. I <laughs> love it. I totally love it. How long have you been a musician? So I... So what happened was when I did my engineering, right? So I was doing my electrical and electronics engineering. By the time I finished it, I figured that music is something that I really like. And then I started, you know, started working on my music. But at the same time, I needed some money to work on my music. Yeah. So I started working with Amazon and I worked, worked with them for about three years. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I recorded and released and put out a few songs. Mm -hmm. And then I thought, okay, maybe it's time for me to like try and like put my whole effort into music just to see where I get, you know, I still have my plan B, which is the Indian mentality, right? Which is engineering. But at the end of the day, if I don't put my full effort into something, I don't think I will know for sure that what I'm doing is right. So I, I love, I love that. this. I genuinely love this. You, and, and I, I have an entire curriculum about spending your twenties, the way you just described, because <laughs> What you want to do is spend time in getting to understand what is it that you love, what is it that you're good at, and what is it that the world needs. But you have to be practical, which is what you were saying. I still got to feed myself. I still got to pay the bills. So why don't I do whatever the fuck is required for me to do? 
but continue to devote myself to my passion. And at mm -hmm. some point in time, the passion will unlock itself and make money for me. But it's a long journey and I'm glad you panned it out and I cannot be more excited for you. Thank you so we much. We would all love to hear whatever is it that you want to say for us. For sure. So I've, I've released a few songs like I mentioned earlier. So this is the first song. I've written a couple of songs. I've put out about close to 12 to 15 songs, a few with my band and the rest as a solo artist. Mm -hmm. So I would like to introduce you to my solo, you know, whatever I'm doing right now. So I wrote this song called uh, Windy, which is, which is the first song that I wrote on the acoustic guitar that I bought to work on this music. So it's basically about when I broke up with my ex, one of my exes. I was going through a lot of a, I was going through a tough time and I was writing a lot of shitty music, which was really, really sad. And I'm not the kind of person. So I, the day the guitar came, came home from, uh, from the US, I had like a really happy day because I got like a really good guitar in my hand for, a, for the first time and I was really excited. I slept and I had a dream. A very happy dream where I was sitting in my balcony playing the guitar and there was a bird listening to me sing. Uh -huh. So that's when I started enjoying whatever I was doing and then I decided that this is really nice. Let me just write it down in a pa piece of paper. So I wrote it down and then later in the evening I just picked up my guitar, I was practicing and I wrote this song. So this very is Vinny. Cool. Hope you we like it. very eager to hear it. And for all the people who are saying such nasty things, like you should know that I don't really care. I'm just here to sing to him, not to you guys. But if you love it, I'd love that you listen to me. I would love to have you guys listen to me. But if you're going to be nasty, I don't really care. I'm used to it. Don't, don't, yeah. don't pay attention to the comments. The world's listening to No man, to I'm you. used to that. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm used to that. At the end of the day, I'm singing to you. You're my first person, you know. The rest of them is just the rest of them. More power to you, Kevin. Let's go. Thank you. Can you hear the guitar? Yes. Yeah. Open by the door, listening to my first song. It was about a girl who I met when I was young. Wow. She was windy, I had sung. Beautiful life, colorful smile, soft. Spoken words, she had it all. Wow. Breaker of hearts, true form of art, she was perfect in every way. And all he heard, he then took it all to her, hoping she would understand. There is a boy, he is yearning for your heart He is at the knee, he said Truth in his voice, simple and wise In the same thoughts, he had it all Where do I start? Where to begin Please, so just please work it out Oh, by then the was a stop in front of me I see a walk across the road Cut my eye and she smiled right back at me Oh, my heart still beating, beating for her. All along, we refuse to walk together. Things 
This was just so, so melodramatic. Sorry, so melodious. <laughs> it is just beautiful, man. I, I loved it. I loved it. Melodramatic and, and, is my life. Yeah, no, no. You know what? <laughs> here, here, here was the best comment of all. And, and I heard it. I, I read it and it just made me. Guess it was a third who was saying, I'm missing the girlfriend I never had. <laughs> <laughs> and that is just, you 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 made us miss someone irrespective of whether we have someone to miss in our lives or not and that's the power of your music i love it kevin this is just brilliant. thank you please 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 continue to pursue it i'm so glad that you've taken this decision to, thank, to pursue it full time thank, and thank you so much i i loved it i'm a fan i'm a supporter i'm going to follow you right away and i'm going to keenly observe and trace your journey I mean, and thank, thank you, you for so sharing much. your music with us it, it is that means a lot joy. is it okay if i send you my songs after i am done please do that please you do know? that and and a lot of people were asking for your spotify link if there is one so if if you can just share that i will absolutely cut a snippet of this and just post it out the world should listen for to sure. this for sure so what happened was two days back i went live with abhish mathew oh nice and uh, he asked me to like put up like a he gave me like a 24 hour challenge where I, where i had to put out this song as an acoustic version like how i'm playing it so i did that as well that's on my instagram and uh, the song is out on spotify apple music and all other platforms if you want to listen to it but i will definitely link it to you for sure wonderful man but do that thank you, you so much for giving me this platform to sing no, to you no you're super talented man i'm so glad that we got this opportunity thank you for requesting and i'm really happy that i signed up no oh, man like Great, it's man. it's it's incredible that you're giving this platform even to me because you know as a musician it's in india especially it's very very tough to get to people and hey. uh, to convince hey. people to listen to english music is even you know it's tougher so i've been trying my best to push my music to as many people as possible sometimes there are nas- nasty comments but i've gotten used to it like it's become like a thing for me now you know i've just gotten used to it like you know as you keep growing it happens jo- right? like at some this point this journey this journey will change you kevin this journey will change you in more meaningful ways than you can possibly imagine get Thank ready so for much. the ride of a lifetime and this is just getting started i am so excited <laughs> for you thank you so much that means a lot all the best man take care thank you you have a great night you too bye bye all the best bye bye that was wonderful wasn't it this was just incredible i loved it and someone rightly pointed out this was like musicals with varuku today i love the fact that we just out of the blue ran into ranveer and then we had two kick ass musicians join us sing where's the party tonight to windy so we literally covered the entire gamut both of them rock stars in their own right and guess what we had a joyful time just being patient listeners and isn't that what is the beauty of life i have less than 1 minute to go thank you so much for joining in this was a genuinely fun live session and i'm so glad that we got to do this sign in next friday 10 pm we do this every friday night 10 pm just an hour of anything and everything that could possibly happen we run into anything that we're nearly not even prepared for and that's the best way to start our weekend Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the attention. God bless. Stay safe. This is Variku signing off. Good night. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.